So this is a question, Shabir. Can you start with the introduction? Okay. Hi. Hi. I'm okay. My name is Nevin. Coming from Trishur, and I did my basic schooling here in Trishur only, in the Ambala Scheme Public School, where I did my senior secondary, higher secondary, everything. And it's in the state of Kerala. After that, I did my B Tech from College of Engineering Trivandrum, which is situated at Kerala too. And uh, I took a B Tech in Mechanical Engineering. And after that, soon after that, I took my M post graduation in NIT Calicut, uh, my M Tech degree in NIT Calicut. And during this education times, I was able to get a clear path of uh, what I want to be in future, and help like it. It helped me to the. Uh, Help me to go into the right direction and where I want to be in future in life. Okay, so tell me one thing, uh, Nevin. You have done your B Tech in which year? In two thousand nineteen, I graduated B Tech. And after that? After that, I joined for M Tech and I graduated there from in twenty twenty two. I took 20... a one year break to prepare for GATE actually. Okay, and. Uh... Now, why you want to go for Cochin Shipyard? Okay, uh, Cochin Shipyard is actually known for its wide variety of uh, projects and how uh, it's valuable. Uh, what do you say? Valuable contributions to the maritime industry in India, maritime sector in India. It's like the biggest shipyard or biggest uh, uh, shipbuilding manufacturer in India currently. So uh, I believe that. Uh, uh, Scotia Shipyard provides good opportunity to every candidate, like every good opportunity for good uh, experience and growth as uh, an individual. And uh, I believe that it would be a good opportunity for me if I join here. Yes, sir. Okay. So, Navin, uh, you know, one thing, like if I have to ask you about uh, strength and weakness of yours, what will be that? Uh, Currently, uh, my strength involves like uh, I am very dedicated in doing something. Current and uh, I'm also good at scheduling myself. For example, if I have a task in hand which has to be done, I'm good at scheduling it into parts and parts, and I'll make sure that I I do it in time or something like that. And uh, I'm pretty good at that. That is how I've been living so far. And uh, my weakness would include that even though if I'm scheduling it, I'm too dedicated towards something, but I kind of skip certain things like, oh, what do you say? Uh, I might not have, I might skip dinner or something like that, or I might be too dedicated to something that it might co have caused uh, side effects of due to that or not. So, yeah. Okay. So, never if you have to summarize your personality in one word, what will be that word? Um, Scheduling, maybe. If you have to summarize your personality in one word, what will be that word? Uh, commitment, I guess. Okay, commitment. Is that the word? Yeah, ma'am. I don't really know any other words used here. Sorry. I don't really know any other good words to use yet. That's why. Uh, okay. Last question for you, Nevin. Uh, see, yeah. I've got multiple candidates. And why you should be hired? Uh, okay. Uh, as I mentioned before, that uh, Coach Shipyard works in the maritime industry, and it's like the biggest sector in maritime industry at the current point, uh, currently in India. And uh, for me, it's like uh, okay. When I explored uh, more about Coach Shipyard, it deals with different projects uh, involves doing ship designing, ship uh, building, and everything. So though. According to the skills I have, so like I am an engineering graduate, I took uh, my MTech in machine design. So I noticed that one of the biggest thing that uh, Coach Chipa does, uh, like uh, the, there are three main services that Coach Chipa does. One will be uh, Coach, uh, sorry, ship building. One is Coach uh, ship repairing and ship designing. So like uh, I, I can say that uh, with good confidence that I am kind of familiar with all these th three services. That is like. I got an opportunity to do a uh, an internship with BPCL and Apollo Tires, where both are manufacturing units. So I, I have a basic understanding of the layout of how manufacturing works. So I'm good in that into that field. I'm okay with that field. And uh, coming to designing, and that is what I took as my M Tech subject. And uh, I believe that 
currently the uh, designing in uh, Cochin also involves like uh, designing via softwares like uh, CAD, CAM, uh, ANSYS and such things and all. I'm very much familiar with those. Uh, like I'm very much familiar with uh, those computer softwares too. So, and I understand that Cochin Shipyard po provides very good uh, career growth and very good experience and learning learning experience and everything like that. So I would like to I feel like it's a good opportunity for me to work there. So. See, Navin, one drawback which I felt is, you know, when we are not aware about the proper answer, we try to speak yeah. more and try to give the justifications which are not even required. Like the question was very simple and a smooth one. Why should you be hired than other people, right? So it should be categorized in a very generic one. So first it should be, ma'am, I'm meeting the eligibility criteria and have a basic knowledge about it. You could add your experience, core knowledge. I have that. Apart from it, there are some soft skills which I'm very good at doing. Soft skills can be your honesty, your hardworking, your practical, your good learner, some of the skills. So understand, you have to mix this answer together and then you have to speak. It should not be related to lengthy one. You're giving me very lengthy answers. That is one drawback. More you speak, more mistakes you commit. We have to give an answer which is related to your experience plus a generic one to settle the quality of your answer. Clear? All right. Okay. Right? So this okay. is the way. Like first we started with your introduction. You should not tell about your even, uh, about your schooling that, and then your seniors can be. That could be eliminated. It could be a very simple one. Good okay. morning, ma'am. I'm Nevin. I come from city. This is my city. Coming to my academics, I've done my graduation from this and this university in the stream of this. Apart from my academics, I have, you can say, uh, you have done some of the projects. I've done multiple projects during my BTEC curriculum. And the major project, which I would like to mention here is the name of that project, right? So right. it is name, city, academics, project, and some of the experience if you have, any achievement if you have, that one line. So five, six lines, and that could be ultimately done with the introduction one. Clear? So your introduction was like secondary education, schooling. That is not required. Obviously, you have done the schooling, and that is why you were into the graduation. Right? We could discuss right. about your code. So I need your speciality. I don't need your generic lengthy answers. That is some Thank mistake you, you were making. Then it was like, uh, if you're talking about uh, like some of your strengths, some of your weakness, it should not be a very elongated one. Strength could be like, ma'am, I am good into this. Like I'm a very good learner. I'm a very good orator, team leader. Something that is very good, important for your organization, for the job which you are going in. That okay. is required. Okay. And then later it can be the weakness can be in the terms of like, ma'am, I cannot put my work to tomorrow. I cannot do this thing. That is my weakness. You have to divide it according. Clear? So these sure. are the answers which need a change. And I request you that you have to be very subtle. Be a uh, little of the facial expressions. You have good hand gesture. You were doing that, right? But you have I'll, may I be honest with you? Like, uh, I'm not really that cool. Like, I'm a very cool guy. Like, I talk really fluently and uh, everything. I'm fine with talking to you face to face. But it, when it comes to interview, I'm just, I don't know what I'm what's happening. I'm not really fluent with anything or something like that. Yeah. It's like that, I lose my cool. That so, is okay. Uh, See, if you will practice it multiple times, eventually it will become stronger. It's all I practice don't. sessions. Like number of questions would be different. Today I asked you a very generic one. Next time it will be situational based. How would you talk to the people who are not outside your city and all that? So what are the words, terminologies you will use? Subordinates are fighting. How would you handle those fights? Because there are some kinds of situational questions that could be answered. What about your mission and vision in your life? Where the coaching shipyard is heading towards the recent project which is doing? These are multiple questions. Right okay. now, my feedback would be limit your answers, don't elongate it out too much, right? Be confident, but try to give me very neutral introduction. Do not lengthy your answers. Change your okay. introduction, change your answers to a bit. Then it will be better. Can you, can you tell me like uh, how I can improve these things? Like I, I know that you asked me generic questions in a bit. Is there a way yeah, I can learn? Uh, some of the questions which I told you, videos have been yeah. already made. I have already made the answers on those videos also. I don't know if you have checked it or not. Based on introduction. Oh, it's on YouTube. Yeah, it's on YouTube. I've already, I'll pass on the group also on your group. And then Got we it. will discuss it again. See, more times you speak. I don't want to give you exact uh, the answer because it will be kind of a rote notification you will be doing. I want to give you a skeleton and you have to put your words into it. That would be the best. All right. Right? Okay. So this is the idea we've got. Practice at some of the questions on your side. Next time I discuss it again, I need some of the good answers. Clear? All right, ma'am. I'll try. Ma and practice okay. it in the front of mirror on an empty room. That would work. Clear? Okay. Fine. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, Naman. Take care.